Hello and welcome back to another unique weapons and armor of the wasteland. I'm your host Outlaw0420, Priest of Azora, and in this series we go after the unique named weapons and armor that you can find in the Fallout series, including Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76. Today we're going after the unique cowboy repeater La Lounge Carbine. This unique carbine can be found in Camp Forlorn Hope or Camp McLaren depending on if you have completed the quest three card bounty. If you have completed the quest three card bounty or you go off and kill some of the fiend leaders, Corporal Sterling will be moved to Camp Forlorn Hope where he will stay for the rest of the game until the end of it and this is the only place you can get it if you have completed that certain quest. If you have not completed the quest 3 card bounty, he will be there at Camp Lacaron in the first recon tent where he will stay most of the time. There's two ways to get this is either kill him or steal it from him. I do not have the perks to steal it from him, so I'm just going to go and murder a bunch of people so that way I can get the weapon. So if you want to see that murder spree, great. If not, you can skip ahead. But here we go. Alright, and there you have it. After completing that little bit of mass murder, you can get this weapon. Of course, if you have the sneak skill and the thief's perk that allows you to swap weapons with a person, you can do that. I do not have those skills, so I have to go this route. You may have those skills, so you may be able to do it. But let's get on to the characteristics of the weapon. Compared to your standard cowboy repeater, La Lounge Carbine deals more damage and reloads through the front of the magazine tube, similar to in design of Lincoln's repeater. As you can see here, uh, this reload. Its spread has been reduced greatly throughout certain patches, so that way it is less of a spread than the regular carbine, so it makes it a better sniper rifle and brings it up to the same spread as the markman's carbine since it does not need to go through the rough animation to reload every single bullet and it just does it at one as you can see there it makes it a faster and better dps shot than regular cowboy repeaters so if you're going to go for a rifleman's build during fallout new vegas i recommend getting this gun especially if you're not going to play nice with the NCR, then definitely go after this weapon. In terms of appearance, the weapon has an ornate graving on the stock towards the butt, a darker wooden finish, and a unique color case hardening marks on the left side of the receiver, resulting from the custom application of a side-mounted telescopic sight. And it goes pretty far, as you can see right now. 
like most unique weapons, the modifications to this weapon cannot be changed and you cannot add any more modifications to it. By default, it comes with a unique scope modification and the extended feeder magazine pre-installed. As, as per the durability, La Lounge Carbine can fire a total of 475 standard rounds, the equivalent of 68 reloads from full condition before breaking. And for a little bit of background, La Lounge Carbine is a nickname given to the character in the novel The Last of the Mohicans. A great novel if you get a chance to read it. Well, ladies and gents, that's our unique weapon for today. If you did enjoy finding unique weapons and these dosed tones, along with a little dash of devilry, as you saw in this episode, then hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do whatever else you do God's demand of you, like leaving a comment and liking the video so that way other people can see. I do have another 97 episodes of Unique Weapons and Armor of the Wasteland that you can go and check out. I'll put a link to those playlists in the description down below so you can go and see what uniques we have found in the wasteland. And as always, my friends, remember someone out there appreciates you because I appreciate you. May Azor's glow guide you ever warmly. I'll see you out in the wasteland. Bye.